So on the next phase of freestyle swimming, we're gonna go over the shoulder stabilizers. Now, this is incredibly important. Mickey, we're gonna start out with the pectoralis minor, please. Maybe the liner back. So we have really strong fascial connections between the pec major and minor. So even though we're saying we're gonna be on one, we're actually gonna do both of them in here. You okay <laughs> with me working on the area? Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm gonna get you to come over the edge here a little bit. Keep coming. Okay. So I'm just gonna go up across the crown here. Bring you up here like so. And I'm gonna drop the shoulder down. Right, you okay? Yeah. Okay, so pec minor helps to stabilize the scapula. This helps provide a solid base for the pec major and latissimus dorsi, which we covered in part one of this video series on freestyle swimming. You okay? Yeah. Good. Go back to center a little bit. I'm just gonna do a little bit more. While I was here, I probably wanna get on pec major a little bit there too. Oh. Okay, good. Just felt like your pec minor really wasn't that sore. <laughs> no, pec minor is fine. Pec minor was was fine. So if we were talking about uh, again, pec minor though, it helps by anchoring the scapula. It helps to ensure that the force generated by the larger muscles is efficiently transferred into the water. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna get you to actually have a seat here, please. Facing forward. And bring this table down a bit. We're gonna get on the rhomboids. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get you to actually take your arms across, down, grab your arm, pull it down like that. And that's how you got it. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my hands across here. How are we doing? Good. Down. Feeling that quite a bit? Yes. So we start getting onto the rhomboids. We. Uh, in terms of scapular stabilization, this is critical in the control and movement of the shoulder blade. Um, including retraction, down rotation, and elevation in the purpose of the rhomboids. So in general terms, we're gonna go up from here now too, just in the opposite direction. You okay? Take it down? Yeah. Feel that one a lot more. So the rhomboids contribute significantly to stabilizing the position of the shoulder blade. Basically, it helps, also helps provide a, a stable base for the uh, latissimus dorsi and the pectoralis muscles. Doing okay? Yeah. Okay, so obviously I do both sides, not just one side, I'm doing one side for demonstration. Now we're gonna go to the top of the spine of the scapula, we're gonna get on the levator scapula. I'm just gonna get you to bring this down there. You okay? Yeah. No problem there? No, nope, that's good. Okay, I'm also gonna use this here and down. So when it comes to levator scapula muscle, the primary function is to elevate the scapula, but also help with the uh, downward rotation of the scapula. Essentially, it plays a supporting role particularly during the recovery phase of the stroke when your arm is lifted out of the water and you begin a new uh, stroke cycle. Even though it may not be a primary player, it works with the rhomboids and the rotator cuff to stabilize the scapula. You okay there? Yep. Yeah. Okay, now in the first rendition, part one of this video series, we went through each of the uh, muscles of trapezius and we would you know, go through the upper, the middle, and the lower trapezius there. So I'm not gonna go over that again in this particular rendition, but I am gonna go on to the deltoid muscles. There, okay. So, just gonna get you to actually bring this down like so. Okay. So I'm gonna come to your deltoid down. Feeling that a bit? Yeah. Okay. Again. Down. Good. And again. I'm going to get you to just take it so this is down a little bit this way. Okay. okay. More towards the medial deltoid. Doing okay there? Yeah. Back. Down. 
Okay. And I'm gonna get you to go maybe on the posterior part of the deltoid okay. here. Go towards the front. So when I was back on the anterior deltoid, in terms of its function, is mainly during the initial part of the recovery phase. It assists in lifting the arm out of the water. We start to get more towards the middle deltoid. It contributes to the same thing, lifting the arm out of the water. In the recovery phase. And we start getting more towards the posterior deltoid though. Slightly different function, involved in the finish of the underwater pull, helping to push the hand towards the hip. You okay? Oh yeah. Good. Okay. So, while we're here, let's talk a little bit about the rotator cuff muscles here. Now, let's just get up onto the supraspinatus here. Red cross into there. Get right up. You okay there? Oh, yes. Okay, pull this down a bit. So, supraspinatus. See, it's not just one structure, they're all working in unison together. But the supraspinatus helps to uh, basically the initial part of arm elevation. During the recovery phase, when the arm is lifted out of the water, the supraspinatus contributes to basically getting the arm out of the water. <laughs> until it's about 30 degrees uh, from the body, stabilizes the shoulder throughout the entire stroke cycle. Okay, I'm gonna get you to go uh, face down here, please. I can bring up the shoulder just so the camera can see it a little easier. Bring this up here. Good, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get you to come up here and across like so, okay? okay? So I'm gonna go on the infraspinatus, okay? And I'm also gonna get onto the uh, tears minor. Okay, take it up, cross, good. So if we're looking at the infra, and we're looking at the tears minor. These are, uh, there we go. Good, good. You okay? That's a good one. <laughs> okay, now take it up here, cross. They're primarily involved in uh, externally rotating the shoulder. There we go. And when it comes to freestyle swimming and scapular stabilization, this is essential during the uh, catch phase. Basically, it helps to position the arm for maximum propulsion. You okay there? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get you to turn over onto your back. And the final rotator cuff muscle we're gonna talk about here is the scapularis. Okay, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, wonderful, thanks for asking. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> All right. So the scapularis is an internal rotator of the shoulder. It's also active during the propulsive phase, helping to pull the arm through the water. And uh, obviously, like all the other rotator cuff muscles, it has a role in just stabilizing the scapula. So as we worked our way through here, realize that we're talking about pec minor, rhomboids, levator scapula, sections of the trapezius, deltoid muscles, and all the rotator cuff muscles. It's like, if you have a problem in the area, don't just address one structure. Work your way right around. Good. So, this rendition was focused on the muscles involved in scapular stabilization. Incredibly important for getting the shoulder blade in the right position so you can actually move the arm through and get maximum use out of the propulsive muscles. These muscles are, even though they're smaller than like the lat and we're looking at the power generated from the pecs, they're still incredibly important. So let's move on to the next phase.